Hello friends, welcome back. Today we'll do a small real-time project on Terraform. So what we'll do here, server provisioning, software installation, configuration management, and continuous deployment. So let's see what we'll do in details. So what we'll do, we'll write the Terraform code to create an EC2 instance, create a security group, and whitelist the port 22 and 8080, and then fetch the public IP of the newly created server. Then we'll write the Ansible playbooks to install Java Tomcat web server, and then we'll configure Tomcat server, then deploy the application on the newly created server. Okay, so let's start. Log into your terminal. So I have in mind, uh, I have into my terminal. So if I just do here, uh, ls 7 lrt I can see here, you can see here, I have few files created already. Okay, so in my last video, I had explained already how to write the provider blocks, how to write the resource blocks in Terraform. Okay, so I'm not going to explain further on this. Okay, so we are going to, I'm just going to show you uh, what is written to achieve this project. Okay. So if I do cat provider.tf, so, so you can see here the Terraform block here and the provider block only the region is specified here. And you know how to store the credentials in the configurations file like the access key ID and the secret keys. Okay. So similarly, if we see the ec2.tf file, okay. So let's see here ec2.tf file, we can see here we have the resource block written here in this and we have written um, the resource block aws underscore instance and the, you know how to use the ami id okay and instance type i have used t2.micro the free tier availability zone and then vpc security group ids this is this is the block uh, where you have to specify the uh, security group id to attach into the EC2 instance. Okay, so I have used here uh, AWS underscore security group, the resource block, and the name of the resource block, then the attribute. Okay, I'll show you uh, when I uh, show you the uh, sg.tf file, then I have written all this. Okay, and the key name, the key name is given as P swine. Um, this will be um, um, used to connect your server. Okay, so now here I have used the provisioner block. Okay, in this provisioner block, um, this provisioner, uh, provisioner resource, uh, what I have used it here, local exec. Okay, local hyphen exec. So what is it going to do here? The if you see in the command, it is just echoing the AWS underscore instance resource and the name of the resource block here, my in situ, and the public IP attribute. Okay, so whatever the server will get created, it will fetch the public IP of that server and redirect the output to the etc Ansible host. So the inventory file, I have just hard coded to write uh, the IP addresses, whatever is fetched from this local exec and it will be written to the hosts file. Okay, now let's see what is written in the sg.tf. So if you see it here, uh, so in sg.tf, we have written one resource block again here. That resource block name is aws underscore security underscore group and the name is allow underscore tls. If you see it here, the same allow underscore tls, I have written it here to fetch the security group id. Okay. And it is attached to the EC2 instance using this vpc underscore security underscore group. Now, and uh, um, also, I've just given a name as terraform-sg on uh, the ingress part. You can see here, I've given two ingress part here uh, for uh, whitelisting uh, two uh, port numbers. One is 22, and the other one is 8080. Okay, similarly, the outbound is egress is written it here. Now you understand uh, clearly how uh, you can uh, write all this. Uh, if you're not uh, clear on that, you can watch my previous video. The link is given below in the descriptions okay fine now um, let's see uh, so that's all about the terraform code and we have the ansible playbook also written okay 
So if we see this Ansible playbook, I have named as uh, deploy to tomcat.yml. So let's see what is written. So if you are familiar with Ansible, uh, you'll easily understand. If not, then just uh, go through the Ansible documentations and you can find more. Uh, or else if you want to do the course or anything, uh, please join with me and I'm taking the classes of um, all these uh, tools like Terraform, Ansible and all. So if you are interested, uh, you can just uh, comment me in the comment section below. Okay. So let's do that here. So if you see it here, uh, cat deployment. So I have written um, the playbook uh, to first install the taxi. You can see the tasks uh, I have written. The name of the task uh, one is the install Java, which is going to install Java 1.8, and then uh, creating a group Tomcat. And similarly, uh, it will also create a user as Tomcat, and then um, it will create a home uh, user say Tomcat and create. Um, all this and you can see this uh, modules become uh, true and become method is sudo like root okay and after that uh, using the get url module i'm just uh, downloading the uh, tar file okay compressed file uh, tomcat uh, software that uh, this file is getting downloaded and after that using the command module extracting the file which was downloaded it here okay and then using this file module creating a same link to the directory you can see here the source is this and uh, path i'm just going going to uh, attach it is user say a term card okay instead you can see link and similarly again uh, using the file module uh, changing the ownership of tomcat installations you can see it over here path is tomcat owner tomcat and group tomcat i'm changing the path of this um, tomcat installations okay now after that uh, once the tomcat is uh, downloaded and extracted created the tomcat folder what i'm going to do it here i'm just copying the file that like the application the war file okay uh, because this dot war file is contains all the applications it's a binary file so i'm just copying this binary file from this location to the tomcat web server location okay you just share tomcat web apps so all the applications will be hosted under this web apps after that what i'm doing is just allowing the access by using that efw module just allowing the rule 8080 for this port okay then after everything is done i'm just starting the tomcat server using the command again startup.sh script i'm going to execute it okay now it is clearly understood it is not um, the big uh, code is written it's a very small one so i've written the steps what needs to be executed so the entire project if you see uh, what we are going to we have fully automated to provision the server okay and then we get the ip addresses immediately then execute um, the playbook and it will install and deploy the application immediately okay so now execute this things and see how it works okay the codes are available on my github page okay you can just clone this uh, link uh, this repositories on your laptop or desktop then you can see and execute uh, whatever things i have executed in this video okay let me do that and uh, so as you know uh, whenever you are going to um, execute something better to just use first terraform in it so what it will do it will just download the aws provider plugin okay so it is just initial initializing the provider plugins okay so it is done now now let's up do terraform plan okay terraform plan So to, to, to see whatever things we are going to achieve, whether all are correct or not. If we, if we go through a word, this, you can find it. This is the MI ID we had used and the instance type to micro. Everything is given right. Now, if you go here, see the inbound uh, was given for 22, the ingress 22 and this 8080 80 port. Okay. Now all clear. It looks clear. So we are at the plan is going to two resources going to be added okay so let's clear it out and execute terraform plan 
sorry terraform apply enter so give yes now what it will do it will create the ec2 instance and then fetch the ip address okay you can see here now two resources are added okay now if we go ahead and check the see the ip addresses uh, this the public ip right is being returned to the etc ansible host okay now what we need as we have got the ip addresses press what we need we need this ip addresses should be communicated to the master machine to the machine where ansible is installed so ansible is installed in this server so i need the communication between this server to the server newly created server so what i need to do here just log in to the server so i'm going to use uh, here ssh and I just use the certificate file to connect the server uh, you remember i had given the piece one that certificate right um, in my terraform code the certificate i'm going to use to connect the server okay now yes so once you connect to the server just go to your uh, home directory use your home directory go to cd.ssh okay there you'll find the authorized key right authorized key file so here from um, let me just get uh, so home ec2 user dot ssh and you should get the public key right dot pub now we need this public key to be pasted in the authorized key section okay in the authorized key file so let open this authorized key file paste it over here okay then so now the communication between this server and the newly created server is established now if i do here use uh, let me clear it out if i do ansible ping then it should get success message see we can now able to ping our newly created machine okay now let's go ahead and check in the web console okay if i go ahead and see if i refresh this page you can find the instances running okay click it here see this instance has been created newly okay the, uh, the other one is which already uh, was there previously now let me click on this and you can see the ip address 215 if i go here and check and the ip address is uh, see 215 okay now what it says that there in the host file there was a previously uh, one ip address was there which is uh, not available now that's why it is unreachable but if you see this is the newly created ip address which is success okay and if we see here the security group right we had whitelisted for port 22 and 8080 so both are there okay so all clear now now let's go ahead and execute the playbook okay so before executing the playbook let me clear out the defunct ip addresses which is not no more used right i'll clear it out so it will be etc ansible and hosts okay uh, so this ip addresses is not there clear it out now if i execute do ping all so what it will do it will just ping the ip addresses and we can see here we got the result ping and pong okay fine so now let's execute the playbook okay if i go ahead and execute this playbook using ansible so let me clear it out the screen use ansible playbook okay give the playbook name so it is deployed to tomcat.yaml file hit enter so you can say the players are getting executed so the task first task is install java 
just wait for a few seconds it will be installed and you'll get the result okay so you can see here everything is installed successfully except this um, EQFW uh, that is means this port allow access to TCP port 8080 that means uh, fail to find the required executable okay UFW is not installed on the new server so what you can do you can install this UFW uh, in the newly created server and then execute it it will be installed but as we have already uh, firewalled 8080 it is not required to do it again in the Ansible so leave it so this will not cause any problem okay so if we go ahead and access the Tomcat server okay so let me go ahead and fetch this and get this public IP okay go here put 8080 hit enter see now we can able to access the Tomcat web server okay so how we'll access our application so if we give slash and the application name login web app hit enter see we can see here our web, a login web app that our web application is now successfully deployed into the server okay newly created server so if you can do here everything you can do that means our application is working fine hope you understood clearly how the terraform and ansible can be combined together to be worked and how you can fetch the newly created server's ip addresses and store into the uh, inventory and then execute it the ansible playbook okay uh, if you have any doubt or anything you can just uh, comment me in the comment section below if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe now you'll get notified whenever i add more videos more uh, projects um, and more real-time projects or videos and um, many more things are there okay thank you the codes are available on my github page okay you can just clone this uh, link uh, this repositories on your laptop or desktop then you can see and execute uh, whatever things i have executed in this video okay